Good morning. Welcome to Carver Morning News. I'm Lelia Owen. And I'm Mariana King. Today is Monday, February 4th, 2019. Today is the 106th day of school. This is the 23rd week of school. Tomorrow is Safety Internet Day and Chinese New Year. It is the year of the pig. Today we recognize George Washington Carver for Black History Month. A young boy from Missouri who was born into slavery, he became a famous scientist who studied plants and an inventor who developed hundreds of household products and recipes using peanuts. Our school is named for George Washington Carver. Check out this video to learn more about Mr. Carver. George Washington Carver was a world-famous chemist who made important agriculture discoveries and inventions. His research on peanuts, sweet potatoes, and other products helped poor southern farmers vary their crops and improve their diets. A monument showing Carver as a boy was the first national memorial erected in honor of an African American. George Washington Carver was born in 1864 on a small farm in Diamond Grove, Missouri. His mother Mary was a slave owned by Moses and Suzanne Carver. One night, slave raiders came and stole George and Mary from the Carvers. Moses Carver went searching for them, but only found George left by the side of the road. George was raised by the Carvers. Slavery had been abolished by the 13th Amendment and the Carvers had no children of their own. They took care of George and his brother James like their own children, teaching them to read and write. Growing up, George liked to learn about things. He was especially interested in animals and plants. He also liked to read the Bible. George wanted to go home, go to school, and learn more. However, there weren't any schools for black children close enough to home for him to attend. George ended up traveling around the Midwest in order to go to school. He eventually graduated from high school in Minneapolis, Kansas. George enjoyed science and art. He initially thought he may want to be an artist. He took some art classes at Simpson College in Iowa, where he really enjoyed drawing plants. A teacher of his suggested he combine his love for science, art, and plants and study to become a botanist. A botanist is a scientist that studies plants. George enrolled in Iowa State to study botany. He was the first African American student at Iowa State. After earning a bachelor's degree in science, he continued on and earned his master's degree as well. George became known as an expert in botany from the research he conducted at the school. After getting his master's, George began to teach as a professor in Iowa State. He was the first African-American professor at the college. However, in 1896, George was contacted by Booker T. Washington. Booker had opened an all-black college in Tuskegee, Alabama. He wanted George to come teach at his school. George agreed and moved to Tuskegee to help to head up to the agriculture department. He would teach there for the rest of his life. One of the main crops in the South was cotton. However, growing cotton year after year can remove nutrients from the soil. Eventually, the cotton crop will go, grow weak. Carver taught his students to use crop rotations. One year, they would grow cotton, followed by other crops such as sweet potatoes and soybeans. By rotating the crops, the soil stayed enriched. Carver's research and education into crop rotation helped the farmers in the South be more successful. It also helped the diversity the products that they produced. Another problem for farmers was the boll weevil. The insect would eat cotton and destroy their crops. Carver discovered that boll weevils don't like peanuts. However, farmers weren't so sure that they could make a good living off peanuts. Carver began to come up with products that could be made from peanuts. 
He introduced hundreds of new peanut products, including cooking oil, dyes for clothing, plastic, fuel for, fuel for cars, and peanut butter. In addition to his work with peanuts, Carver invented products that could make be made from other important crops such as soybean and sweet potato. By making these crops more profitable, farmers could rotate their crops and make a production from their land. Carver became known for around the world as an expert on agriculture. He advised President Theodore Roosevelt and the U.S. Congress on matters of agriculture. He even worked with the Indian leader Mahatma Gandhi to help with growing crops in India. George Washington Carver was known throughout the South as the farmer's best friend. His work on crop rotation and innovative products helped many farmers to survive and make a good living. His interest was in science and helping others, not in getting rich. He didn't even patent most of his work because he considered his ideas of as gifts from God. He thought they should be to free others. George died on January 5, 1943, after falling down the stairs at his home. Later, Congress would name January 5th as George Washington Carver Day in his honor. Now we are going to reveal the answers to yesterday's quiz. For the pre-K through second grade question is, what famous African American scientist was our school named after? The answer is George Washington Carver. For the third through fifth grade question is, this African American discovered more than 300 uses for the peanut. What was his name and what college did he attend? The answer is George Washington Carver and Iowa State University. Each day we will pick two winners from the box in the library. Let's see who won today. Evan Blackwell, teacher, Mr. Anderson, George Washington Carver, William and Mary. Austin Harry. Anderson Fourth, George Washington. Camille Emmett, George Washington Carver, Simpson College. Alenia White, Anderson, George Washington Carver, College, Simpson College. Come to the library to get your prize. Also remember to come to the library by noon with your answers in order to be in the running for today's prize. So our winners were Camille and Alinea. Here are today's questions. For pre-K through second grade, that question is, what crop did George Washington Carver find hundreds of use for? For the third through fifth grade question is, Dr. Mulana Karanga, a black studies professor, created this holiday to honor traditions and and values from Africa. It is celebrated every year from December 26th to January 1st. What is the name of this holiday? We are now collecting non-perishable food to fill Superintendent Ford's office on Tuesday, February 12th, and send him to a work on the roof of the LRSD administration program. You can also bring a $1 donation toward the $24,000 goal to support bright futures and VIPs. Yearbooks are now on sale for $25. Last day to order recognition ads for a Carver yearbook is February 8th. Yearbooks may be ordered at joshjenningsyearbooks.com. Basketball game Saturday, February 9th, Carver vs. Roberts at 2.30 p.m. Celebrating the birthday over the weekend was Kaya Jackson, pre-K. 
Celebrating birthdays today are Ava Marie Nelson Prika and Naomi Onekwele, fifth grade. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Lunch for today will be grilled chicken sandwich, onions and green peppers, green beans, orange and milk. Breakfast for tomorrow will be honey graham crackers, applesauce cup, assorted juice, and milk. Please pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the Carver School Pledge and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Carver School Pledge. Today I will make good choices. I will not hurt anyone, physically, verbally, or emotionally. I will do my best at all times. I pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. See you tomorrow for more morning news. Have a great day.